Hello, my soccer universe. Yesterday was the first game of the season for LASK, the season opener for the 50th Bundesliga season, and it did not go as planned. Needless to say, hopes were high on the LASK side. And I said it in the um, video that I made on Rapid, and maybe I gave a little bit too much focus on Rapid. I was thinking the whole time I was focusing so much on them, and yeah, of course it's gonna go sideways. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't quite go so there was a happy end. But yeah, um, hopes were high for Lusk with all those new players. Hopes were not so high at Rapid because they said, oh, our transfer business was not that great and we're coming off a really, really terrible, ter terrible season. Even the um, odds were so much, so much in favor of Lusk. This could only go one way. But before we go to, go to the game, I also have to say, personally, it didn't go as planned. You know, uh, we have now new season uh, tickets, and they are very nicely placed behind. They go a little bit further up, as I wanted to have it. And with those season tickets come free jerseys for all of us. And they said, at this game, in the fan zone, you can pick them up. Of course, we are the family sector, and we all entered through there. And then you have to go to the fan uh, zone, which we didn't realize, is you have to exit and then enter again. And so they told us, yeah, we could do that, but you know, there's such a line now, and maybe it's better to wait because you might not make it in time for the kickoff. And subsequently, they told us, well, but they will continue giving them out after the game, which I can tell you, spoiler alert, they did not. So we still don't have a free jer uh, jersey, however, we were told that potentially we can pick them up in the fan store downtown uh, or ahead of the next game, uh, which I'm not sure we will be able to make it so early, but you know, be it as it may, at least that went fine. As I said, we have nice new spots. Uh, I was really excited for, for this one. I also like that the new stadium now, there's um, everywhere some uh, the new logo and new slogans in there. It looks more and more like a new Lusk stadium. Uh, they're getting it, it is, it seems now quite ready and uh, it's all the better for it. So, really cool stuff. It was a near, near sellout, you know, only 3,000 shows, 16,800 people, 790, I think, officially. Uh, tons of rapid fans there as well. The last section also there. You come out, the last fans make is a really nice T4 with ASK and so on, you know, 115 years Lusk. I because of the birthday, I took the 100 year last jersey also for another reason, because for that I'm a little bit superstitious. I'm usually not superstitious, but for that I was, because the only time I was wearing this, uh, or at the last season opener that I was, it was in 2009, and that was the best season opener that Lask ever had, winning 4 nil, and I was wearing this jersey, and I said, yeah, I might want to go as well. No. Okay, did not go as planned. Also, interestingly, um, it has been a long time that Rapid in Linz have played in green, which I don't mind. Uh, I just don't like an all green look because you cannot see it really well, especially on TV. Um, but you know, I always like my last play in their home colors against Rapid in their home color in, in their uh, home churches because I think it's it's a combination that works instead of having always the red and the blue um, coming. The game started actually quite fun. I think for the first 10 minutes, you could see that both teams are playing forward rather well. And Lask really tried to do this pressing, uh, created even after a few minutes a good chance. However, repeat, the longer it went, you, you could see that all the pressing attempts of Lask went into nowhere. And Rapid played straight through a midfield with quick passes going forward. And after 15 minutes or so, I turned to, to my daughter already and said, they are better. They are really better. And Lask was not on the field. Absolutely not. Pete took a uh, deserved lead after already Laval had to make a major save uh, on Burgstaller. They took, took, took the lead. Um, I think uh, Paul Kim Shiko packed it back to Seidel and then into the net. Took also a little dip, uh, deflection. Um, and this was, after 24 minutes, already well deserved. Because whatever Rapid did, especially the front line, uh, they had 
uh, with Burgstaller, with Grull, with New Seidel, and then uh, especially the number um, 10 uh, Kühn. Uh, he was really tearing us apart. Every single time dribbling, they couldn't stop him. And yeah, it was fully deserved. They didn't even score the second one, which was uh, call color for a clear offside. And there may have been a penalty shout that I have not really seen because it was on the other side of the field. Uh, it was not given. Overall, I have to say... Uh, the best part of the first half is that it was only 1-0 to Rapid. And what I really don't like, you know, uh, I understand we have a new coach, we have a new playing idea, uh, and so this might take time. However, when I hear all these great things, we want to be aggressive, we want to play for, we want to dominate the game. And then on the first time trying, you don't show any of that. That's not a good look. That's not a good look. This for me is a rookie head coach being too assured of himself and it not working out. How I got better in the second half? Um, because of some substitutions, but uh, before that, the other goal, goal, goal thing is that all the players that were playing were none of the new players were playing. What I find maybe most interesting is that, you know, all the players, they know each other and it still didn't work. But I also think that the two players who came off, Luigi Gennaro and Nakamura, that he, he brought on a new front line, I'm not sure if it was their mistake. In any way, for the first 15 minutes, uh, you could clearly see a reaction. Lask creating a few chances, especially through Mustafa uh, pu uh, pu 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 putting one wide. There were a few shots. There was, a, to me, a clear penalty, penalty call pull on the shirt, which was views on the uh, VAR, was not given, but to me, Maybe, you know, because I was in the stadium, uh, you see it even clearer than that. But to me, this should have been a panel penalty. But after this 15-minute spell, it was already gone again. Because Rapid then slowed the game down. Uh, Lusk tried a few times to play out from the back, which was so nerve-wracking, because if one of those passes is misplaced, they lose the ball, and they anyway lost it then on the uh, way of playing out. So they usually had one down the center, to the right, and going front. And that front ball rarely worked. Rarely rare, rare. Just a bit still had control over the midfield a little bit more. Slowed the game down. And so Lusk, uh, after the first 15 minutes, but they could use a little bit of the speed they have. Uh, it never came again. Uh, then, you know, a little bit more offensive change. Changes around the uh, 50 minute, minutes ago. And uh, at the game, at the time where the game really fell, it fell asleep. But up until the point, Rapid didn't have chances, but then suddenly created chances again. However, the goal came from La for Lask from a corner okay, kick. Okay. And then Ljubic then suddenly makes it a 1 1. Wild celebrations. Problem is, the ball had crossed the line. And so, yeah, Rapid probably should have made a second goal then. Uh, Lask tried, but it seemed like going nowhere until 95th minute. Another corner, cor 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 corner kick. The ball even can comes out and then uh, goes to the right, comes back in, and falls to Lukaneda, who is free in front of goal and puts it in. Last kick of the game, second to last kick of the game because they just let uh, Rapid kick off again. It's 1 1 and wild celebrations. I'm not sure if Lask really deserved that one. Because with 15 good minutes and maybe trying at the end, and again, silver linings, they were fighting, they improved the first half performance significantly, the game was more even, but unfortunately the game was also a little bit played on the Rapids terms, because their great counter-attacking potential, uh, especially Kuhn and Burgstaller was wor working re really hard, uh, that did not look good. I'm happy that they got the draw because uh, the schedule makers didn't see it very easy on Lask because the next game is Sturm Graz away from home, which I don't think they will win. Sturm Graz is the better team, especially after that showing. And then you play the Derby and if you're already with pressure in the Derby, I thought that, that doesn't look good. I think you're even on the pressure if only won from the first two games, but uh, go and we have to still see how Blauers is playing. They're playing. Uh, today um, and they have you know Wolfsburg and then uh, Hartberg which I guess they might have sim similar points but it's not a good look
to be honest um, and you know the schedule doesn't really ease up at the uh, at the beginning uh, it also doesn't uh, curiously rapid is coming back to Linz also relatively soon because in the fourth round they have to play them blow wise which to me yeah but they if the first two away games are both to Linz which I don't understand the schedule makers as well but yeah the game Silver lining, you got a point, you avoided uh, a, um, you know, messing up the start of the season. However, um, expectations went from really high for this season to kind of maybe, and that's not so bad, going a little a little bit lower. I do not agree with the coach, how, uh, how, how I said, the first half, it was ma ma mostly down to Laska that they were playing because they didn't, they were not so assured of themselves as they should be. Yeah, you know, if an opponent plays so much through the press, you should take a hint. I really have to say, and that, that is exactly repeat, and I said it in, 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 in my video, when Laska is high pressing, high energy style, very attractive, the one pain that we had was repeat. It was not the same coach, but it was a sporting director under that leadership that is now the coach. So, um, we're all a little bit green behind our ears, and that's not because we're repeat, because... Um, the coach is inex inexperienced and he has to learn his lessons. I am willing to give him the time. I just wish that the messaging was, how to say, a little bit less pompous. Let's put it that way. I also have another big uh, news from the Austrian League, and I want to finish that, although this was before, that ahead of the start of the season, coach Jaisle from Salzburg, where already sporting director Christoph Rahn is going to Bayern Munich, they also lost their coach because he's going to Al-Hilal in Saul, Saul, it's also Saudi Arabia. And uh, that is not notable for two reasons, because A, uh, he's going to Saudi Arabia, and that is ahead of the season, uh, kind of really disrupting uh, Salzburg's um, preparation. But more importantly, uh, is that he would have been the first coach under the Red Bull um, era that would have managed the third season. And I had him in the preview in there. He's not. Again, it's only two seasons and then Salzburg coaches leave for somewhere else. I don't think it will affect Salzburg that, that much, especially since now Gerhard Struh is coming in. And I think this is his dream job. But yeah, that's it from me. I needed to vent. I will give you then a review of the other Austrian Bond Bundesliga games probably on Monday if I get to it. But yeah, I needed to talk about that, that game because it was a little bit galling overall. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon about more Austrian Bundesliga. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!